Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from toptipbio.com and in this video tutorial I will show you two examples of overlaying graphs on a layout page in PRISM. In the first graph I will create a box and whisker plot and a before and after plot separately. Then I will overlay them on a page layout to produce the graph presented on screen. This is a great example of displaying different types of information for the same data on one graph. Here we will have summary information from a box and whisker plot for three experimental groups. Not only that, but there is also individual data values in a before and after style. In the second example, I will show you a variation of how to combine and overlay two separate graphs on a layout page. Here, there are two graphs from a pharmacokinetic experiment. The main graph is data presenting saturation bindings, and the smaller graph in the lower right corner presents a scatchard graph of the same data. Combining the graphs in this way can be useful when you want to plot related data onto the same graph. So let's go into PRISM and begin the tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to start by selecting a column table and graph. I'm going to enter or import data into a new table. I'm going to enter replicate values stacked into columns and then click the create button. So I'm just going to paste in the data that I've prepared earlier. So in this simple data set, there are three groups, cats, dogs, and mice. And there are some measures in each group. And in total, there are six replicates in each group. To create the graph, I'm going to click on the connected graph sheet in the left hand window. And in the graph wizard, I'm going to select the individual values tab under the column graph family and I'm going to select a before and after plot which is this one here and I'm going to click the OK button. So this is the basis for our before and after plot and the first thing I want to do here is to change the symbol colors and I want to change the color to a specific color for each group. So to do this I'm going to go to the format graph button at the top and then with my cats group selected, I'm going to change the symbol color from black to blue. And then I'm going to toggle to my next group, dogs, and then change the symbol color from black to red. And then I'm going to do a similar thing by going to the mice group and then change it from black to green. And then I'm going to click the OK button. So now we just have different colors attached to each group's data. Now the next thing I need to do is prepare this graph so it can be overlaid with the box and whisker plot that we'll create shortly. Now for this, I want to delete the axes titles by clicking and pressing the delete button and also the graph title. So that is ready to be overlaid. The next thing we need to do is to create the box and whisker plot by using the same data set. So to do this, I'm going to right click on my data set and then click on duplicate current sheet to duplicate the data sheet. And I'm just going to relabel this by double clicking and then calling it box and whisker. So this data is exactly the same as the original data set. So I'm just going to rename the first data set to be before and after. And now with the box and whisker data set selected, I'm going to click the new graph button in the left hand window. And then here I'm going to select the box and violin tab under the column graph family and I'm going to select to plot the floating bars which is the very first option here and then click the OK button. So again this is the basis for the box and whisker plot here. Now what I want to do is to make the boxes the same color as the symbols in the before and after plot in the first graph and again to do this I want to go to the format graph button at the top I'm just going to repeat what I did earlier. So in this time, I'm going to change the bars and boxes border color and the cats I'm going to change to blue. Dogs is going to be a red. And the mice are going to be green. Then click the OK button. So these colors now match up with the symbol colors in the before and after plot. Now the next thing I want to do is since I want to overlay the before and after plot with the box and whisker plot, I need to remove the axes labels and format the frame thickness from one of the graphs. So I'll do this for the box and whisker plot. Now to change the axes, I'm going to go to the format axes button at the top. 
And under the axes and colors, under the frame and origin tab, I'm going to change the thickness from one point to half a point. And then I'll click the apply button. So this just makes the frame of the X and the Y a little bit thinner. I'm going to toggle now to the X axes and I'm going to change the tick direction to be none because I don't want any ticks or labels. And similarly, I'm going to change the location of numbering and labeling to be none. And then click apply. So notice now the labeling and the ticks for the X axes have disappeared. Now I'm just going to toggle now to the left Y axis tab and repeat this process. So no tick direction and no labeling and numbering. So now click the OK button and now return to the graph. Is a very simple box and whisker plot with no labeling and no ticks. Final thing I'm going to do before I can overlay the graphs is just again delete these axes titles and the graph title. So that is a very basic box and whisker plot. So we're now ready to overlay our graphs in the layout page. So what I need to do on the left hand window is click the new layout button. And I'm going to start off by just creating a set of two graphs on one layout page, which is this option here, and then click OK. And what I'm going to do is double click on the first placeholder at the top. And the first graph I'm going to add in is the box and whisker plot and click OK. I'm going to repeat the same process for the bottom graph. And this is going to be the before and after plot and click OK. The first thing you should notice is that these two graphs have not been scaled in the same way. The box and whisker plot at the top is larger than the before and after plot at the bottom. Now this would be an issue because since we want to overlay the graphs, it will look strange if the graphs are at different scaling factors. Now to make them the same scaling factor, we can use the equalize scaling factors option to make the graphs the same size. And you can find that under the change ribbon at the top, equalize scaling factors. Now the option is we can either reduce the scaling factors to match that of the smallest graph, in this case the before and after plot, or we can increase the scaling factors to match that of the largest graph, which is the box and whisker plot, or we can define our own scaling factor. So for me, I'm going to decide to reduce the scaling factors to match that of the smallest graph, and then click OK. So now the box and whisker plot has been reduced in size to match the scaling factor of the before and after plot. And the final thing we need to do is just simply click and drag the graphs over each other and overlay them on the layout page, like so. So that is how you combine two graphs on the layout page and overlay them so it looks like one graph. Another useful thing that you can do in a layout page in Prism is combining multiple graphs into one graph. And to show you this, I have two graphs already created inside of Prism. And these graphs have been imported from the graph portfolio, specifically the file called How to Combine Graphs in Layout. So the first graph is one presenting saturation binding data. And the second graph is a scatchard graph of the saturation binding data. So what I want to do is to have a smaller version of this second graph inside the empty space of the first graph in this lower right window here. And to do this, I'm going to create a new layout page. Again, I'm going to select to have two graphs and have the placeholders above and below and click the OK button. In the first one placeholder at the top, I'm going to insert the first graph and the bottom placeholder, I'm going to insert the scatchard graph. So now we have both of the graphs on the layout page. Since I have selected the bottom graph, there are four blue squares that appear in each corner. And what I can do is simply click and drag on these squares to change the size of this graph. Now obviously to fit in the space that I want, I want to make it a bit smaller. And then simply click and drag into the empty space of the first graph. So now the two graphs are combined and overlaid to look like a single graph. So in this video tutorial, you have learnt two examples of overlaying graphs on a layout page in Prism. In the first example, I demonstrated how to overlay different types of graphs on the layout page to make it seem like one combined graph. Specifically, this example presented a box and whisker plot and a before and after plot on the same graph. 
In the second example, I've shown you how to combine two separate graphs of different complementary data to create a single graph. Here, the appearance of each graph was unaltered and instead their size was manipulated to create a combined version. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.